last night, Nancy, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, called you morbidly obese. I just wanted to know what you had to say in response. Oh, I don't, I don't respond to her. I think she's a waste of time. What is your priority? What did you tell the senators are your priorities for the Well, we have a lot of priorities. The priority we have is a priority for the country and bringing it back. I, I use the expression transition to greatness. We're going to have a really good third quarter. It's already happening. You see it. You see what's going on. We're opening up. The states are opening up. Numbers are going down as they open. Look at uh, Georgia. Look at Florida. Look at others. We have states that are opening up, and the numbers are going down. Uh, but it's a transition to greatness. It's the third quarter. Then it's going into the fourth quarter. I think the fourth quarter is going to be really good. But I think that, above all, next year you're going to have a tremendous year. Now, with all of that being said, to lose lives over this that could have been stopped by China, it should have been stopped by China, is terrible. That a thing like this could have happened to the world long beyond us. You're going to lose millions of people. We're talking about the world. The whole world is being affected by this. It's a terrible thing. A terrible, terrible thing. Mr. President, what's your timeline? The FDA warned that hydroxychloroquine could cause serious uh, side effects, especially how uh, with heart, with yeah, heart. Yeah. Why is it okay for you to promote the use of this drug when, okay. when you're not a doctor and health experts are working? Well, I've, I've worked with doctors, and uh, if you look at the one survey, the only bad survey, they were giving it to people that were in very bad shape. They were uh, very old, almost dead. It was a, a Trump enemy statement. Now, if you look at some of the reports that came out from Italy, that came out from France, that came out from other. A lot of our frontline workers take it because it possibly, and I think it does, but, you know, it's, people are going to have to make up their own mind. Plus, it doesn't hurt people. It's been out on the market for 60 or 65 years for malaria, lupus, and other things. Uh, I think it gives you an additional level of safety. But you can ask many doctors are in favor of it. Many frontline workers won't go there unless they have the hydroxy. And so, again, this is an individual decision to make. But it's had a great reputation. And if it was somebody else other than me, people would say, gee, isn't that smart? But we are uh, working on a lot of other things. We have, I'll tell you what, the great medical companies that we have, if you look at what they're doing therapeutically, cure-wise, and the vaccine itself, and the vaccine, I think, is less important than some of the things they're working on. They're working on a cure, and we have more than one doing it, and very advanced. They're working on therapeutics. And they're working on vaccines. Uh, there's been tremendous, there's been tremendous, pro really tremendous progress. Have you talked to uh, senators much about the reforms you'd like to see to FISA so Americans aren't surveilled? Yeah, they have uh, a lot of views on FISA. Uh, I didn't get involved. I purposely said to Mitch, you'd go do what you want. We'll take a look. We're going to look at FISA. But nobody's been abused by FISA like the President of the United States. Because what the Democrats did and the dirty cops, they're dirty cops. The FBI people are great. I'll bet you go in there, they like Donald Trump. But the top of the FBI, they were dirty cops. They were crooked, bad people. And nobody's been abused more than Trump. But you look at General Flynn, you look at so many others, not just, that, not just us. Take a look at so many others. Look at what they've done, how they've abused FISA. So I'm going to be studying it uh, very much. But the FISA process has gone awry. It was used by very dishonest people. It was used illegally. And frankly, the judges on the FISA court should do something about it. And maybe they will. President Mr. President, President, are you satisfied with how Republican IG? senators have, res have responded on the Flynn case and on the origins of the Russian investigation? Well, I think on the swing states, you said? No, the Flynn, Flynn case. case. Yeah. On the Flynn case? Uh, General Flynn is a man of great respect. I was with General Milley, the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The other day, I said, you know General Flynn? He said, yes, I do. He's a fine man. I've known him for 20 years. He's a fine man and a great soldier. General Flynn was treated horribly. General Flynn was treated illegally. These people, they broke the law. They broke the law. What they've done to General Flynn should never happen. What they've done to the presidency and what they've done to this country can never be allowed to happen again to our country. And despite all of that has been done, everything that's been done, We've had one of the greatest presidencies ever. We have never, I don't think anybody, Mitch, I think we can say it with a surety, nobody's accomplished what we've accomplished in a relatively short period of time, a three-year period of time. Nobody's been able to do that. When you look at rebuilding our military, regulations at a level that nobody's come close to, we've cut regulations. The biggest tax 
decrease in history. You look at all of the things that we've done, all of the things we've done on health care, with the individual mandate, with pre-existing conditions, nobody's done anywhere close to what we've done. But despite that, if you look, despite an illegal witch hunt, and that's what it was, it was a hoax, it was a witch hunt, the Russian thing was a made-up, fabricated story, just like they went to Congresswoman Kelsey Gabbard. I don't know her at all. And they said, you're a Russian agent. I don't know her, but I know she's not a Russian agent. Then they went to Dr. Jill Stein of the Green Party. They said she's a Russian agent. I don't know her at all. I know she's not a Russian agent. These people are sick. Pelosi is a sick woman. She's got a lot of problems, a lot of mental problems. We're dealing with people that have to get their act together for the good of the country. Okay, thank you very much.